Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And as we start the month, there is some very nice energy with us, buoyant energy. Last month, I spoke about how it is that we are ending that month on a very harmonious new moon, one of the more harmonious new moons that I have seen in a while. So take that energy, run with it as we enter this month. You'll be that much more glad for it. Uh, there's a real sense of luck and change transpiring, especially where it comes to your work and your health. And that energy is with you as we start the month. Now, as we navigate into the middle of the month, right around the 14th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that is when we are going to have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening in the sign just before yours, and it has a very different quality than the new moon that we are starting the month with. Uh, it is this full moon that is happening quite close in the sky with Neptune and standing across the sky from Mars and, of course, the Sun. And when you consider this, right, consider how intimately involved the symbolism of our dreams and our desires. Uh, our sense of inspiration and our sense of passion being a little bit at odds here. And then this full moon and the sign just before yours, well, it does tell me that it is a highly changeable time. It can feel as if we are being asked to accept or find groundedness as things are changing very quickly. For you in particular, given where this full moon is taking place, a part of the sky that has to do with karmic closure, it has to do with closing karmic ties and ending karmic chapters. But think about all those times when there was a closure and you were really grateful for it. And those times when there was a closure and you might have had mixed feelings in the process, but a little bit later on, you realized how great it was that the closure took place. Well, it's that kind of energy, that kind of energy where there's mixed feelings in the moment and then our own feelings change about it as the days progress. And I think that days, right, the days progressing is really going to be key here because it is going to be just days later, right around the 18th, that Saturn will officially go direct. And that means Saturn is very strong in the sky at the time of this full moon, essentially standing still in the sky, magnifying its energies that much more. And of course, Saturn moving through the very top of your sky. So this configuration, right, or the way in which we can understand this, We've got Mars on one side, Neptune on the other. We've got uh, the Sun with Mars. We've got Neptune with the Moon. And then we've got this harmonious connection with Saturn playing out here. And all of it to me adds up to a need to think big picture, a need to be responsible and how it is that we start to sense that we could make gains if we take a more measured approach. And it is of course Saturn moving through the very top of your sky. Chances are where it comes to an important goal in your life, some aim, some ambition, it is going to start to feel as if you are finally moving forward. And that in and of itself can be very empowering. But in order to truly make gains, sometimes we have to clear space for the new and the next to find us. And that is part of the energy of this full moon at this time. Pluto is also harmoniously connecting with this full moon, which tells me that there is some power move that you are inspired to make at this time. Some understanding of where it is that you can look deeply and understand the root cause and from there facilitate powerful transformation in your life. A lot of areas out there though, with all these things playing out and considering that Mars is your ruling planet standing across the sky from Neptune, I think that a lot of Aries are just gonna need more rest. That may be one way that this plays out. Uh, the need for more sleep, the need for downtime can go a very long way under a sky like this to help you to regroup, to find your energy, to find your motivation, and from there more clearly understand what is worth going for. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, right around the 28th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. 
And that new moon is taking place in your opposite sign. Now, this is a big deal for a few reasons. Normally, you get one new moon per sign per year. And so one new moon in your opposite sign per year. And this is your moment. And this tends to be a really important time for partnerships of all kinds. It is a time when you are particularly focused on another person and if it is that you feel like you don't really have those alliances right now whether business or personal a new moon in your opposite sign does mean that someone is going to be there to help you to understand the lessons that can only come when you are willing to see yourself differently as reflected in the eyes of another now when i say that i don't mean that you take someone else's opinion as your own far from it what i mean is that you realize things about yourself as you interact with others in a way that we can't always when we're doing things independently and on our own. There are going to be a lot of areas out there that experience this energy in terms of new possibilities for business alliances and partnerships. Part of what makes this new moon especially interesting is that it will be standing across the sky from Chiron in your sign. Now, Chiron is an asteroid, one of the most widely used asteroids in modern astrology today. And it is a representative of healing, profound healing. It has to do with recognizing where it is that we have been hurt in the past, where it is that we feel vulnerable, and also where it is that we are ready to facilitate a deeper healing, being a healer in the lives of others. Now, I did speak a lot about Chiron and its nice long stay in your sign in the Chiron special horoscope. I'll try to link to that in the description below. You can see that on YouTube where I talk about that for the collective in particular. But for you, this is an archetypal energy. This is um, an energy that you are going to be intimately connected with now and in the years ahead as you look at where it is that you are ready to heal something very deep within you, find your power in the process and move forward from there. And so put this together, right? Your Chiron in your sign standing across a new moon having to do with another person entering. Well, it could be possible that you do meet someone new now, whether that is a professional alliance or a personal alliance and your interaction with them in turn facilitates some sense of honesty, some sense of vulnerability. And that shows you not only where your work is, where your healing is, but also may help you to uncover some of your own power as well. So as I said, business alliances, professional alliances, those may come up right now. If you are in a healing profession in particular, you may find that there are people who want to align with you as part of your shared prosperity. But I do think that most Aries are going to experience this energy in the context of love. So if you are open to meeting someone new, well, chances are there is going to be somebody there for you to understand the learning of this time. And chances are as well that that interaction will have you feeling hopeful, yes, but vulnerable as well. Now, ultimately, we'd like to see more energy that suggests stability. I'm not seeing a whole lot of that here just yet. There is another encouraging layer, and that is the fact that by this time, Venus will be in your opposite sign as well. And so the uh, potential is there to attract somebody with real long-term potential. But in order to do that, you may have to look at yourself and your own sense of where it can feel rather vulnerable to let new people in. And by moving through that, you start to feel yourself move towards greater love than you've known before. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, this can be a powerful time of increased emotional vulnerability, uh, a time when you are considering maybe what it is within you that finds yourself drawn to this person. And as part of this, yes, there may be uh, a moment that surprises you, that has you wondering uh, what could be here, what is it that I'm really wanting from this person or not. So there's this energy of honesty, but at the same time, there's also opportunity and there's love as well with Venus in your opposite sign. It doesn't look like the easiest journey with this new person, but there will be some beautiful and light moments on the way towards considering whether or not this person is a viable long-term option for you.
And for those of you who are in an established bond, the thing to remember with a new moon is that it tends to bring a sense of a new beginning. And so where it is that there are things that maybe you haven't wanted to discuss openly or talk about, or maybe you have, but then you kind of let them go a little bit, but they're still there. Well, this is where you are going to find yourself wanting to get things out into the open, wanting to heal something between the two of you that much more deeply. The other layer of this is that it is also possible that it is you that wants to share more about your life or about yourself in a way that maybe your partner is not as familiar with. Well, regardless, what this energy says is that there's a sincere desire for you to be known and to know your partner more deeply than you have before. And with Venus in your opposite sign, well, chances are you will feel a sense of sweetness and light within your established bond. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot here, but I am going to say I love Venus in your opposite sign. It just makes it that much easier to connect with people, that much easier to feel like you're able to see yourself in others and to love what it is that you see. And another thing to keep in mind though is next month. Next month we are going to have a full moon in your sign. That is going to be one of the peak moments that takes place for you over the course of 2019. One of those standout important moments of truth set to transpire for you at that time. And so in many ways, especially with the uh, full moon that we're having in the first part of the month, there's this sense now of knowing that there is space being created, that there is a deeper level of honesty happening with yourself in particular. And that in turn is setting the stage for you to know yourself and to be yourself more fully than you have before. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.